Okay, last bit about piecewise for the night. I'm told to evaluate the function s of x. Okay, this is a piecewise function. And here are the three parts of it, these three equations right here. And you see the conditions over here. This is, the, this is like the if statement. y equals 4x plus 1 if x is less than 0. So what I want you to do when you're evaluating is every time you see an x value in here, you simply go over to the conditions and figure out which equation we're talking about. So s of 10, that means x equals 10. Where, where is x equals 10? That's where x is greater than 5. So you say negative 3 times x is 10 plus 4 equals negative 30 uh, plus 4 equals negative 26. That really is all there is to this. You can do most of these things in your head. Um, let's move on to another one that I find interesting. I'm not going to do all of these, but a couple of them are important to talk about. I think actually, if we talk about this one right here, that'll be enough. You'll get the idea. X equals zero. Which equation do we use? Okay. You should be thinking about this equation right here. Because the first one is not X equals zero. That's as x less than 0. That's not the same thing. So we have to use the equation that says x greater than or equal to 0. So we would say 0 squared plus 9. Oh, this is turning out wonderful. Lots of zeros. Okay, so that's just negative 5. And that's how you run through these, top to bottom. You just find the equation you need to use, plug in the x values, and you're done.